Today we're going to be taking a look at the Louis Vuitton and Nike by Virgil Abloh Air Force One in the white and gem green colorway. I'm currently at Untied LA right now and I heard they just got the shoes in so I had to fly out here so I can give you guys a look. And if you guys didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. On this channel, I love talking about sneakers and giving you guys in-depth reviews like this or helping you turn your hobby into a hustle. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. As you guys know, there has been a lot of hype when it comes to the Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones. We have seen a bunch of different colorways, different exhibitions, and a bunch of different friends and families, multiple celebrities, and other people with opportunities to get the shoe. So for me to get my hands on these ones is definitely a good opportunity and I'm excited to open up this box. So starting with the box, as you can see right here, you have an all over brown box, and this does not look like your typical Nike box. It looks more like of a premium box with an all over LV print, and it has your monogram all throughout that. No Nike branding on any part of this box or labels with size tags or anything like that. If you open up the two flaps, you then have the top of the lid, and then right here, like I was talking about earlier, you have a big white Nike branding with the logo on the inside. Now, before we get into the shoe, there's a couple additions that come along with this as well. You have a little hang tag right here with the LV and the monogram print. And then on the top end, it says Louis Vuitton with the Nike in the air just below that. And then you have a Nike swoosh in a white leather. And this actually goes right through this. And it's almost like a bag tag style. And then the swoosh pops through on the back end right here. Kind of give you that same off-white vibe like you do adding it to your Air Force Ones or using this for a bag tag. Honestly, I'm not sure if I would want to actually wear this because I have a risk of losing it. So I think I would probably end up protecting these and leave them in a bag somewhere. Next up, you have a green lace right here with the lace set on the top end, and then you have a white lace with the black lace set as well. Also, these come with two additional dust bags, one for each shoe individually, and it has a Louis Vuitton Air with the Nike just below that on the bottom end of the bag, and it's a white bag right here. And a second one here for the other foot. Now peeling back the paper, you have a couple different layers and then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Okay, first impressions of this sneaker. Honestly, these things are insane but $50,000? We'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. So most of you guys know on this channel, I love breaking down all the styles, cuts, materials, and every single detail of a sneaker like this, but we gotta talk about the history first. Virgil Abloh was the artistic director of Louis Vuitton and has done collaborations with Nike in the past, and we saw the 10 originally drop with multiple releases after that. Over the past few years, Virgil and Kim Jones really pushed the envelope with Louis Vuitton and Dior to then bring on more collaborations with Supreme, Dior, Nike, and now allowing us as consumers to mix high fashion with streetwear. We all remember the craze of the Dior one a couple years ago, and now the Air Force One is taking the scene. Virgil has done at least eight different collaborations with Nike alone just for the Air Force One. We've seen whites, yellows, blacks, blues, greens, and I'm sure they probably got some other stuffs in the sample room as well. And now in current time, we have different versions like this, or even a red version like this. So earlier this year, we saw roughly eight different friends and family colorways, and we all remember DJ Khaled rocking the red pair courtside at the basketball game. But now special colorways like this are available for VICs, the very important clients. These people in particular spend a lot of money with LV. So now that you guys know a couple things about how the shoe got here, let's go ahead and start breaking these things down because I'm telling you right now there are a lot of details starting with the bottom of the shoe you have your classic Air Force One outsole in all green going up to the midsole a pure white midsole with the white stitch your classic off-white branding with the air just above that where your typical area is on the back end and then to the upper oh the upper the upper is covered in a two-tone gem green monogram print and a white embossed monogram print throughout the toe and the back and midfoot of the shoe as well. Starting with the toe of the foot right here, you can see it looks more like a canvas-like material on the green areas, and then you can definitely see the white embossed leather here on the vamp. Looking at the eyelets, it's covered in green. You have a green swoosh with a green stitch, and then a lime green off-white tab on the back end, classic to the Air Force One that we've seen with Nike plenty of times over the years. Going to the back end of the foot around the heel, it says Louis Vuitton Paris, and then on the left foot, it says the same exact thing as well. Now going to the inside of the midfoot right here, typically you see off white for Nike, but this one in particular is going to say Louis Vuitton for Nike and then Beaverton, Oregon just below that. Now you can see it a little bit more on the left foot right here, Beaverton, Oregon with the 1982. Definitely a dope touch and I like the gold accents as well, matching with the back end of the foot. Like I showed you guys earlier, these come with an additional pair of white laces and green laces and they already come laced with a pair of white laces. Now I'm not exactly sure why they gave us an extra pair of white laces, 
but it is what it is. They should have did like a sail color or something. Now looking at the tongue, you got your white embossed monogram print all throughout and then a white mesh just behind that and matching with the sock liner. Now looking on the side of the tongue right here, this is a classic off-white branding like we have seen on the previous Air Force ones. This time it says Louis Vuitton Air and you have a big green leather patch right here. You have an all-white insole with a Louis Vuitton in black and the Nike just below that. And then taking out the insole, another cool detail right here. It says Louis Vuitton Paris engraved into that. And then you have an all over monogram print and a light gray and white just below that actually on the shoe. So there's a lot of cool details when you think about a sneaker like this. I'm interested to see how you feel down below in the comment section. Definitely let me know what you think. And especially when it comes to pricing, this is gonna be a very interesting one, which we'll talk about in a second. But I wanted to ask the people the same thing. Do you think this shoe is fire or trash? I posted this poll on my Instagram story to see what everybody else thinks. If you haven't already, follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. This is what they said. It's a definite landslide when it comes to a sneaker like this. We know there's a lot of hype behind it and I understand some people may or may not like it or they might call it overrated or whatever it may be or it's not worth that price. But at the end of the day, when you talk about craftsmanship, materials, attention to detail, packaging and everything along those lines, this is definitely one of the best sneakers to come out in a really long time. And honestly, I don't even know if we can say this is a sneaker that has came out yet. There's still a lot of speculations on what could potentially happen with this shoe and the public. So as of right now, these are set to retail at $27.50. Yeah, not $27.50, but $2,750. And there's gonna be a potential chance to get these through a raffle, similar to like the Dior drop like we saw in the past. I think they're gonna do it through the LV site only. I don't think we'll actually see these on sneakers app or anything like that, but we might still have a chance. So that draws the next question. Would you guys be willing to spend probably $3,000 after taxes and everything, or take a flight to go pick up the shoes? I'm not exactly if they're, if they're gonna do an in-store thing, or it's just gonna be on Online. I'm not exactly sure what the whole process is. I'll give you guys an update as I know. But would you guys be interested in doing something like that? Drop a comment down below. As you can see, I flew out here to see the shoes. If I had the chance to grab these things for retail, I know for a fact I'd be first in line. And now that we've gone over the green pair, it's time for me to show you guys a look at the red pair. So stay tuned for the next episode as we break down this version as well. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite off-white Air Force One. Man, honestly, I think it might be the yellow pair, but low key, that green pair is kind of clean. Let me know what y'all think down below.